All right, so um, in this video, I wanted to show you how to make a quick instant app that allows you to edit into a layer. All right, so I just have a fairly simple map here. I have uh, aerial imagery, and I just have one layer, and this is a layer of geologic measurements. Now, I might want to do more to this for symbology and pop-ups and naming and whatnot before I move on, but for this, for this uh, demonstration, the point is really just to show you how to set up an app that has editing capability. So we're not going to really worry about that. In this case, we'll do that in some other examples. So first thing I want to do here is do, uh, this is a map that's not saved, so I'm going to save as. We'll call this geo, let's see, geo field work. And we're going to save this again into our subfolder here for these examples, and we'll call it geologic mapping. There we go. So that created a that should create the map. The blue dot goes away because now it's saved and up to date. So now I want to create an app from this. So um, there's a couple ways you can do it. You could do it from your contents. Um, here we're going to do it from we're going to do it from within the the map itself. So if you click on this share map option. You want to let's make sure that it's shared. We're going to make sure we're going to share it publicly again. I'm just going to delete this, so it doesn't really matter. And then once that's shared publicly, we can go down here to create app, and we want to create an instant app. Okay, so to create an instant app, that so for, we want to create an instant app where you can edit into it, and there's that's not always possible with all viewers or app or instant apps. One that does allow you to, for, to add editing capabilities is this sidebar app. So I'm going to click choose on sidebar app there. Um, and I'm just going to add SB on the end here for sidebar. Everything else is fine. And we'll do create app. Now this will open up a web-based um, configuration tool to configure um, this instant app. Note that there's two modes. Um, this express mode just kind of gives you a subset of, of options. Whereas the if you turn that off, you get more options. So we'll hit continue there to get some more options. So first thing is you can change the map. We're going to leave that alone. It's just going to be the map here that we uh, that we uh, that we set up. But you could reference a different map. You could set up like an about or a cover page. That would be good. But again, I'm just wanting to show you how to do something specific. And sidebar here, we can set up some additional tools. So the key thing here is that we want to have the editing tools turned on. So if we click on that, you can see it has this little icon here that allows you to, um, to edit. And I think that's pretty much all that we would need in that case. Uh, let's see. Let's look at interactivity. Let's see if we can turn on our location services. Here we go. So find current location button. That could be useful for field work. We'll add a compass. Um, I think that's all we should really need to do. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, then we could also obviously edit the themes and stuff there. So we can change the font size. This is dark theme. I'm fine with this as is for now. Again, I'm just trying to show you how you can edit with this. So I'm going to do publish. And confirm. Actually, let me uh, look at the share settings first. Actually, that's not what I wanted. Um, is this right? Change share settings. So we'll change this to everyone. Save. And once that's done, we should be able to publish it and take a look at it. So we'll do publish and confirm. Again, I'm going to delete this, so it's not perfect, but you'd want to do more configuration. Okay, so now I want to. You can here's links to share it. It gets a URL. You can get it in uh, the code to embed it into a website using an iframe. Um, let's just hit launch, and it'll open up in a tab here. Okay, cool. So now we have this, and the key thing was to show you how you can use this for editing. Now, anyone who had this link could go to this map and edit into this um, geo. Uh, the fill points layer that we created. So uh, this is again with this button here, edit. So we can do new feature. And again, we could dump a point there. And we could do our editing as we did before. So 
do say this is a sandstone. Current time. I don't know, I'm not going to add anything else, and we'll do create. So now we just added a new layer to that from, oh, instead of from our web map, we added from a web app. And again, you could share this app with anybody, and anyone who had access to it could add data points to it. Um, so that's, quick, that's a quick demo, but again, that's an example of basically creating an app that has an edit tool on it so that you can actually um, edit um, into a hosted feature layer um, from the app.